Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's uh, middle of December 2012, and uh, thanks to a suggestion by Mr. Trapfish Holland, I had a look at the Indiana State Nursery, and I decided to put in an order of 200 pawpaw and 100 persimmon that should arrive sometime uh, in the spring of 2013. Uh, however, based on my experiences this year, I really don't want to plant these young trees out at the orchard where I can only water them on the weekends. Since I want to disturb these young trees' roots as little as possible, I've been spending a lot of time making paper pots that are based on a 1944 magazine article. The pots themselves are made out of roofer's felt, sometimes called tar paper, which comes in these three foot tall rolls. Uh, Roofer's felt comes in either a heavier 30-pound version or a lighter 15-pound version. Uh, the 15-pound version is cheaper, but uh, since I wanted the pots to be as robust as possible, I went with the heavier 30-pound version. Uh, this particular roll cost me about $17 at my local home improvement store, and I expect I'll get about 130 uh, pots out of it. So the total cost per pot should be on the order of about 15 cents. Roofer's felt can be easily cut into one foot wide strips with a knife. When making numerous cuts, I found it useful to use a one foot wide board as a guide. Each strip was then cut into two 12 by 18 inch sections. Each piece was then rolled with about an inch overlap and then stapled on each end. To secure down this middle portion, I went online and I got a long reach stapler, which quite easily reaches more than halfway uh, the length of the pot. The pawpaws that were originally germinated in these large black plastic pots have been transferred over to these uh, tar paper pots. And uh, in order to prevent these 18-inch uh, tall slender tar paper pots from falling over, I built this 4-foot uh, by 4-foot uh, plywood structure out of the cheapest scrap lumber I could find at uh, my local home improvement store. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of built it wrong, and uh, it should have been a... Uh, two foot by four foot structure, which is effectu effectively what it is now with that uh, center piece in there. And uh, the reason for that is uh, I realized that it would be really difficult to reach the center pots if uh, I kept it at uh, four foot by four foot. My original plan for transferring the pawpaws germinated in the large black plastic pots uh, was to submerge the black plastic pots in large drums of water, uh, shake it up a little bit, and let the uh, wet dirt sort of sluice off uh, the roots of the pawpaw trees, uh, and basically in order to uh, help protect uh, the roots because they're quite fragile. Uh, that didn't work as well as I had hoped, and uh, it essentially just created a large uh, sticky mess. Uh, so I ended up just uh, shaking the pots and uh, uh, working very carefully to 